We're also discussing the whole concerns about identity theft and what big business this is and what's out there to protect people today. It's, a, it's an enormous business and I've really looked at everything that you can possibly look at to protect your identity. There's something called Identity Finder, you can find them on the internet. Identity Finder is excellent. Everybody should have something on, on their computer to protect their identity. You should be very worried about that if you don't. Because it's a program is that what it is? Yeah, it's a program that, that it's so easy for, for hackers to go into your computer, get all your personal information, get your social security number, your, your mother's maiden name, your pet's name. It's so easy to do. You need a program to protect yourself from that. So these companies that are out there that guarantee that they can take care of protecting your identity, et cetera, they're worth investing in them. Absolutely. Because identity Finder is a really good one. Identity Finder. So is this the future? I mean, the fact is we have to constantly be concerned about protecting our identity as we move uh, forward. Look, because the, the Pentagon has a cyber terrorism division. I, I, I think that that's a, probably a greater th threat than what's going on in Libya, cyber terrorism. You can close down this country on the Internet. You can, you can take all the money out of the bank account. You can change the train schedules. You can change the, 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 the towers that are guiding flights in if you can break into computer systems. I would be very worried about well, that. Well, obviously people are, are, are focusing on trying to do that right now. Why hasn't it happened at, at this well, point? Well, it has. It, I mean, it, 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 it has. Point, to the point that it's actually mm -hmm. shut down operations. Let's well, say, I don't, uh, you know, in a city, for example, like New York. Uh, 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 be, because the defense has been better than the offense. But it's, it's just, you know, there, there's new crimes being invented every day on the Internet, and they're catching people, you know, off guard. And as they're being invented, uh, better and better prevention is, is happening. Mm -hmm. But a, a, a lot of it is, like, our kids know a lot more than, than our generation knows about protecting themselves of online. Course. I'm, worried, I'm worried about um, who guards the guards. I mean, when you get pe um, well, that private who's sitting in jail, and where is he? Is he in Quantico or wherever? Uh, the kid who gave all the information to Julian Assange of Wikipedia, I mean, this guy had a clearance. And I'm more worried about the people who are getting the clearances that have the access. I mean, how in blazes did he ever get that kind of top secret clearance? That's still a big question. We don't know. And don't how know. about government people? When every, every day you pick up a story and you see that, you know, there's a whole department watching porn all day. How responsible are these people? I don't know. I mean, and, but you're saying it's going to get worse before it gets better. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just saying that it, it should be on everybody's radar now. I think that there's a, a, a not enough attention given to the, the threat that this entire country faces from uh, uh, cyber criminals who can go into our computers and get information about us out of them. Each of us should protect ourselves against that. To how, how, do you think people just believe they're living with false sense of security and it just can't happen to them? No, I, I think most people probably have a basic knowledge of it. I think most people have something on their computer. But I think that people are confused every time that a program says, do you want it, uh, the program's been updated. Do you want the update or not? I think people are sure, should I say yes or say no? Mm -hmm. By the way, yes is usually always the answer if it's coming from a legitimate source. But uh, I, I, I think that we are getting better at that. We're just not perfect at if, it. If you shop on the internet and give out your, your uh, for example, your... I'll give you an example. Yeah. Uh, my daughter, uh, uh, bought a plane ticket with my American Express. She goes to Colby College in Maine. She, she got an email the next day, your email box is full. Um, uh, in order for us to reopen it, send us your, you know, your password back when we reopen it. She did. They stole my credit card. Oh my gosh. And oh, about $20,000 like that was spent on my credit card before you know, it was closed down. Just like that. And there was 20% uh, you know, of the kids at the college who got that email clicked on it and gave their password. You didn't have to pay it, of course. No, not if it's American Express. If it's Visa, you know, good luck. You're oh, is fight. that right? Yeah, American Express will always back the, uh, back the customer. God, unbelievable. All right. There's so much, to, so much going on right now, so much to think about. There is. You know, sometimes you want to just put the, pull the covers over your That's head. That's right. And say, <laughs> I'll check it out for a while. That's um, right. We're out of time, folks. Great to have you on board. Thanks for joining us.